Welcome back to Get Fit Guy. I'm your host, Dr. Jonathan Su. Every week, I'll share science backed tips to help you get fit, stay fit, and optimize performance. It's not every day that you hear someone say, It's rear delt s day at the gym. You typically hear people say, It's shoulder day. And you see popular exercises such as the overhead press, front or lateral raises, and upright rows being performed. Don't get me wrong, these are all great shoulder exercises for strengthening your deltoids, delts for short, the large triangular shaped muscles that give your shoulders their rounded contour. I know because I use all of these exercises as part of my workout routine. The problem is that none of these exercises actually target your rear delts. Rear delts, you ask? Yes, the all important rear delts that our high school PE teacher conveniently never taught us about. Our delts are made up of three distinct parts front, mid, and rear. And all of the previously mentioned shoulder exercises target either the front or mid delts. The rear delts are frequently ignored or forgotten about. That's a problem because giving the rear delts a little love and attention. Can help you improve posture, reduce the risk of injuries, and boost athletic performance. Let's not also forget that strong rear delts also look great in a tank top. In this episode, I'm going to give you a crash course on shoulder anatomy, explain the benefits of working your rear delts, and show you how to perform three of my favorite rear delt exercises. One of the main muscles that moves your shoulder is your deltoid. The word deltoid comes from the Greek letter delta, which is shaped like a triangle. Your deltoids are named as such because they look like an upside down triangle. Actually, they're shaped more like a half cone, but close enough. This muscle wraps from your collarbone to the spine of your shoulder blade on top and converges on the side of your upper arm or humerus about a third of the way down. As mentioned earlier, Your deltoids are made up of three distinct parts front, mid, and rear. Your front, mid, and rear delts primarily work to lift your arms forward, sideways, and backwards, respectively. Your front delts also rotate your arms inward, while your rear delts rotate your arms outward. I can't emphasize enough the importance of working your rear delts. If you've neglected these muscles for most of your life, Like most people have, when you start working them, it's like taking your first sip of warm coffee or hot cocoa after getting stuck in a blizzard for 24 hours without any power. Your body reacts in a way that just lets you know that you're doing something right. If you're still not convinced that working your rear delts should be a priority, here are four reasons that I'll hopefully persuade you to start hitting up these muscles this week. One, improves your posture. Many of us spend a good part of our day sitting in front of a computer, tablet, or phone with our shoulders hunched forward. Like cement drying, we risk making this position a fixture of our posture over time. Your rear delts work alongside your rhomboids and mid trap muscles on the backside of your body to pull your shoulders back. This is important for good posture because it prevents your shoulders from hunching forward to keep your body in an upright position. 2. Reduces injuries. Your front and mid delts tend to be dominant in a lot of exercises, which creates an imbalance in your shoulders. This imbalance leads to excessive stress in your shoulders and increases the risk of injuries. Imagine driving your car for thousands of miles with your rear tires only half inflated. Not only do you get poor mileage, but you also increase the wear and tear on your tires. This is similar to what your body goes through when your rear delts are weak in relation to your front and mid delts. 3. Boosts performance. When your front, mid, and rear delts are balanced and working together, it's like having all of the cylinders of your engine firing in harmony. The result is improved performance in everyday activities and athletic performance. That's because these muscles all work together to keep your shoulders stable, which translates into improved quality of movement. Improved quality of movement is like having improved handling on your car from power steering and traction control. 4. Looks great. Working your rear delts will help you fully develop your shoulders, which will in turn lead to amazing looking shoulders. 
I'm not going to lie. One of the reasons why I spend time working my rear delts is to look better, and there's no shame in that. Here are three of my favorite exercises for working the rear delts. Perform three sets of 15 reps for each exercise on non-consecutive days. Check out my YouTube channel for videos on how to perform each exercise. Reverse fly. Lie face down on a bench with a dumbbell in each hand and the inner sides of your hands touching each other. Begin exercising by moving your hands away from each other until your arms are parallel to your torso. Return to the starting position and repeat for up to 15 repetitions. External rotation. Lie on your side with a dumbbell in your top hand. Tuck your top elbow against the side of your body with your elbow bent 90 degrees and your hand against your belly button. Begin exercising by rotating your top hand away from your belly button as far as you can comfortably go, while keeping your elbow against the side of your body with your elbow bent 90 degrees. Return to the starting position and repeat for up to 15 repetitions. Rows. Place your same side knee and hand on a bench with your back parallel to the floor. Hold a dumbbell in your opposite hand with the hand hanging toward the floor and the same side foot on the floor. Begin exercising by pulling the dumbbell toward the side of your body. Return to the starting position and repeat for up to 15 repetitions. Let's put this knowledge to use with a 5-day rear delt exercise challenge. Over the next 5 days, your challenge is to exercise your rear delts for 2 or 3 days on non-consecutive days. Give it a try and let me know how you feel by emailing me at getfitguy at quickanddirtytips.com or leaving me a voicemail at 510-353-3104. Get Fit Guy is a Quick and Dirty Tips podcast. It's audio engineered by Nathan Sems with script editing by Adam Cecil. Our operations and editorial manager is Michelle Margulis. Our assistant manager is Emily Miller. And our marketing and publicity assistant is Davina Tomlin. <laughs>